Hello everyone, this is a reading, a love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My name is Donna, this is Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome to the channel. I do answer comments and I'm broadcasting from Chicago. Tell me where you're from in the comments if you would be so kind. It is what it is. Okay, Capricorn, that's a very Capricorn attitude. Well, it is what it is. Very practical, very down to earth, not trying to make anything into what it isn't. So let's see what else we have. It's messages from Spirit. Time machine. Oh, going back or forward in a time machine. This is either going to be a preview into the future or this is going to be a retrospective into the past. I guess we will soon find out, Capricorn. All right, let's see. We also have a grand symphony. So there is something that you're orchestrating. There is something that is turning you on from a creative standpoint. Grand Symphony is, you know, really two people who play together and work together very well in love. So let's see what the energy is for our Capricorn friends in love. So I this can be any relationship, but I do read it as a love relationship. But take it as it resonates. So let's see at the bottom of the deck what we have for our Capricorn friends. Let's see. We have Four of Pentacles. Okay. That's your energy, Capricorn. Here you are in your reading. You're being very practical. Look at that Virgo energy. Very grounded. Very down to earth here. So you and a lover in the recent past or love interest have not been speaking hermit energies, keeping to yourself seeking answers from within the hermit card is a problem solver of the zodiac so it looks as though you feel that there is some sort of issue that you're looking at in the current energy between you and a lover four of cups the four of cups is almost a card of attitude you're in this energy with the Four of Cups. It's Cancerian energy of really not taking action. The relationship is stable, but you're really not talking. You're not being very expansive. You know, it is what it is. And you're not really developing the relationship at this time. The Four of Cups oftentimes indicates a sense that one of you or both of you in this situation, both of you, are feeling a little bit bored. And, you know, life isn't always exciting every minute of the day. That would be unrealistic but it does speak to the fact that there's this sort of taking one another for granted how your person sees the two of you right now we get the two of pentacles so they feel like you're juggling that neither of you have really made any kind of commitment with each other that it's very sort of just stagnant energy they don't feel like the relationship is moving forward or even that you've chosen each other. How they view you, Capricorn, is perspective, the hanged man energy. So they view you as someone who's very indecisive, somebody who's looking at things from a different perspective. The hanged man really doesn't talk much, so it shows that, to me, what you've told them is that you're, con you're sort of content with the way things are right now. How they feel in their heart space, Capricorn, the wheel of fortune. They feel as though they're just going to go along with the fates. Your person is not going to really go out of their way to fight for the relationship. They feel as though easy come, easy go. What will be, will be. Que sera, sera. The wheel of destiny is a wheel of fortune. And right now it's turning upwards. So they feel optimistic about the relationship, but they're going to sort of let nature take its course in love. How they view the situation unfolding the moon card they feel really left in the dark here your person has no idea what it is that you're doing or what you want they feel pretty lost you know pisces energy they just feel as though they have no idea what's going on with you again you might have ghosted each other you might have just taken a a time out from one another to gain perspective what is hidden between the two of you? Two of Wands. Both of you are at a crossroads. Both of you need to make a decision. Two of Coins is about juggling two people or being, you know, very uncommitted. The Moon cards, you know, the Moon card, the Two of Wands. So this relationship looks like it's at a crossroads, that both of you are seeking something much greater 
that both of you are having a level of dissatisfaction. I would say this, that sometimes this just happens over time when a relationship gets to be four or five years old, but take it as it resonates. Oh, wow. Spirit is saying that this relationship needs a rebirth or it needs to go away. The death card. Wow. Scorpio energy. Your short-term outcome in this relationship is a Knight of Cups, so you're still being romantic with each other. So it does look like the two of you open your hearts again. You move forward at you know in the very near future, within the next week or 10 days or so, and it looks like there is a romantic overture. And it does look from the you know the time machine that both of you have been taking a very introspective look at the entire relationship. And both of you look like you're feeling that at this crossroads, you either move forward or you end it. The Grand Symphony. But Spirit is saying that there's something inherently not strong in the foundation of this relationship, that a major overall needs to be taken, and that if you can't choose one another, you need to end it. All right. If you can't get into a commitment with one another, Spirit is saying to just end the relationship. The Four of Pentacles energy, that is your energy, Capricorn. We have Ace of Cups. So both of you want a new beginning in love. Both of you want this grand symphony. The Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning. It is Cancerian energy or water sign energy. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. Justice card. Both of you want a fair shake with each other. For some of you, you may be in a situation also where someone is in the process of divorce and you sort of have to wait. You're not really decided about where you want this relationship to go because an old relationship hasn't quite ended. We get that with the Two of Pentacles. Oftentimes is that, you know, you might be married to one person dating another one and waiting for a divorce to finalize. The Ace of Swords energy clarifies the Hermit card, so it does look like both of you are dealing with something that's very honest. Ace of Swords, it's usually communication when we get the swords, so it does look like your person is really not telling you. You're not telling each other really much. Very little information. You're keeping a communication very surface level. The Nine of Swords says that both of you are both feeling very concerned, very worried, very much up in your head, feeling as though you know you have remorse and regret about some aspect of the relationship. The Two of Cups energy, you know, balancing love. Again, that Two of Cups almost looks like a Two of Coins, though, doesn't it? The Two of Cups is trying to balance love with each other and the outside world at large. So both of you really care very deeply. The Empress card, Four of Cups. So right now, both of you want to manifest something much greater than what you've had so far. The Empress is Taurus energy. It's abundance. It's joyfulness. It's you know, that valuing each other in a way that says that you're picking each other. I get the sun card. So we get the empress and the sun. So when we look at the four of cups, both of you find great happiness, great love, great beauty, great that you both really find each other tremendously attractive. So let's see what we have also. Warrior of Swords. Both of you are just trying to keep your head above water. You're both in this energy, Aquarius energy of head over heart. All the earth signs today have been very different readings. This is, it's almost like earth signs. You know, we're in the, we're soon to be in the time of Capricorn and we have Venus in Capricorn retrograde. So we have both of you really wanting each other, but really not talking being very intellectual, cool, and aloof. The Seven of Pentacles says that your person wants to and is invested in the relationship. The Three of Pentacles says that they want to be in a team relationship with you, the kind of team or relationship in which you could be living together, but you're making decisions together as a team about your future. The Nine of Cups, they do find you as their happiness, Capricorn. They're very smitten with you. They simply don't think that you're so smitten with them, though. 
we get the three of wands they do feel as though you're the person for them they feel as though they've made their their choice in this relationship your person feels very much that they want to have another go at it the temperance card finding balance the six of wands they see was a very successful victorious person but one who may want freedom you may want your freedom they do love you very much we have the queen of cups energy cancerian energy but the card of freedom you know is the card that really speaks loudly to the fact that you they think that you might simply want to be free and you know if you're going through a divorce and you're in this relationship they might just see you as a person who's not ready to settle down so the warrior of cups look at that the king and queen of cups very powerful energy they feel as though you are a divine match the moon card though says that they are very worried they're feeling yeah the death card they feel as though you're going to end it they feel as though there's not going to be a path forward so if you want this relationship capricorn you know we see the queen of wands the aries queen they see you as very fiery very passionate somebody who's really out there somebody who's attracting a lot of attention and somebody who just with that aries energy might want more adventure the two of wands again they don't they see that the path forward is going to be you making the choice and we end up back at the moon they just don't know what they don't know they don't know what they can't see but they really think that you want something you want a lot more freedom than they do the star card you both see each other as a beautiful star the star card is hopes and dreams for love you feel as though the two of you are one another's you know grand symphony the nine of wands you have fire in your belly for each other we also see the beautiful king of pentacles energy so there's a very grounded energy here but again you know we have this energy of the two of wands a choice has yet to be made even though both of you are in this energy you know that this relationship really has to go through a scorpionic change to come into fruition the death card why is it here as your advice we've seen the death card twice now we have the monarch okay so we have the emperor energy so what we're seeing here is somebody is the driving force in the relationship the emperor energy is aries energy it looks like you know one of you in this relationship wants it their way and is quite insistent that it be their way and it can be you capricorn or it can be your person but what we're seeing is that that's not going to work the death card the relationship will fail with this emperor energy my way or the highway somebody who doesn't reveal their feelings spirit of swords you know the energy of very much sort of judge judy staying very aloof staying very very uh, conservative again not sharing much with one another and spirit is saying that you could have the four of wands but to have the four of wands that's 11 11 that's twin flame that you're going to have to make changes that are going to be much more about the two of you together and not one person deciding the fate or the destiny of the relationship the five of coins the you know we have the knight of cups but we have the energy here of the you know the five of pentacles being left in the cold really feeling as though you know coming in from out of the cold you know feeling as though um both of you have really been at a distance with each other the nymph of wands this is very much more geared to romance to sexuality and sensuality at this time we get the nymphs the nymphs are at play here there's a lot of playful energy not very much serious energy though we get the eight of wands make love all night air travel um a lot of communication a lot of joy a lot of high level energy but the high priestess the two of you are still not really speaking your feelings with each other the four of swords you need to heal something from the past i'm going to pull one more card for you capricorn okay the devil energy 
So that is your energy, Capricorn, when we get the number 15, that basically you're trying to reclaim your life back. You're very determined that you have to live life in a certain way for a certain period of time. So it really speaks to the fact that this relationship is not going to really move forward. You're going to have good times with each other. Uh, you may be together, but not. It looks very much like your person certainly expects, as spirit does, that you're going to move on from this relationship. But I'm going to send you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And thank you so much, Capricorn. I wish you a very happy holiday season. Thanks.